डर मत टाइगर है ना ब्लैक टाइगर सीमेंट हेलो माचू जी मैं न्यू वाचिंग ऑन बिल टीवी प्राइम टाइम नो हेडलाइंस US authorities have thwarted a plot to kill a Sikh separatist in the United States and issued a warning to India over concerns the government in New Delhi was involved. The e-visa services for Canadians have been restored by India after a two-month long suspension amid ongoing major diplomatic row between the two countries. Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's office issued a statement on Wednesday confirming the release of roughly 50 hostages abducted by the Hamas terror group in Gaza during the October 7 attack. Indian Navy's latest indigenous guided missile destroyer scored bullseye in her maiden Brahmos firing at sea, the Indian Navy said on Wednesday. US authorities have thwarted a plot to kill a Sikh separatist in the United States and issued a warning to India over concerns the government is New Delhi was involved. The Financial Times reported on Wednesday, citing people familiar with the matter. There was no immediate response from India's foreign ministry on the report. The development comes two months after Canada said there were credible allegations linking Indian ag agents to the June murder of a Sikh separatist leader in Vancouver suburb. India has rejected Canada's accusations. According to the report, the target of the plot was Kurpat Wan Singh Panun, an American and Canadian citizen who is the leader of Six for Justice, SFJ, a US-based group that is part of a movement pushing for a separate homeland. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has said that there were credible allegations linking New Delhi to Nijar's killing. A person aware of the development said the US The e-visa services for Canadians have been restored by India after a two-month long suspension amid the ongoing major diplomatic row between the two countries. India had earlier suspended visa services following reports of Canada sheltering Khalistani terrorists in their country. The row escalated after the killing of Khalistani extremist Hardeep Singh Nijar, Prime Minister of Canada, later alleged India's involvement in the killing and called for strict probe, which resulted in an immediate action by India sending several notices to Canadian diplomats in the country. Indian Navy's latest indigenous guided missile destroyer scored bullseye in her maiden promos firing at sea, the Indian Navy said on Wednesday. According to the Indian Navy, this was the first ever test firing of the extended range promos missile by a warship before the commissioning, which underscores the unwavering focus of the Navy on combat readiness. The Imphal is the third ship of the Vishakhapatnam class stealth guided missile destroyer of the Indian Navy. Designed by the Indian Navy's Warship Design Bureau and built by Mazagao Dock Shipbuilders Limited Mumbai, the INS Imphal ship is a hallmark of indigenous shipbuilding and is amongst the most technologically advanced warship in the world. Imphal was named in recognition of the Indian soldiers who fought in the Battle of Imphal during World War II. Being a guided missile destroyer with a displacement of 7,400 tons and an overall length of 164 meters, Imphal is a potent and versatile platform equipped with state-of-the-art weapons and sensors including surface-to-air missiles, anti-ship missiles and torpedoes. Dr. Im Kong Nibao Memorial Volleyball Trophy kicked off today at DDSC Stadium here in Dimapur. The advisor youth resource and sports S. Kyosho Yimchonger, who was the opening ceremony guest, said that sports industry is evolving and heading towards big change. While encouraging the participants to grab the opportunities in sports field, he said that the Department of Youth Resource and Sports under the leadership of Chief Minister Nipio Rio is trying the best to promote sports and games in the state. A total of eight teams are participating in the three-day tournament. The tourney will conclude on November 24.
Today, as we begin this fourth edition of Dr. M. Kung Liba Ao Memorial Trophy, honoring our bus leader who had contributed a lot for our Naka society. We have to reflect back, why are we honoring him? It is because he was a man of great dignity, filled with patriotism, who dedicated his life towards shaping the bitter future of all the Nakas. He's one among millions who was a diehard advocate of peace with a vision to protect the Naka legacy and to preserve the rich culture till he laid down his life serving his people in the country in large. My dear friends, with this fast changing world, there is some noteworthy prediction that sports industry will in evolve in the coming years and it is heading towards a big change. Note that sports and games not only give our physical fitness, but it is also a jewel our mental state. Sports have become more than just a competition, but also have its positive impact of enhancing social and cultural life. Having access to game in sports exhibits one's talent in different levels with different perspectives. To be a part of it in the best level of sports, the sportsmen need to give good attitude with high esteem, respect towards other fellow sports persons. In order to earn respect, one need to be humble, sincere, dedicated in all. overall, have a self-discipline. Games in sports is all about discipline in competing with honor and accepting the defeat gracefully. Unless one learns to accept the defeat, you cannot be a good sports person. Do excel to the best, one need to be determined and consistent in its sphere. It is the youth of the day who holds the future of our society in all aspects. Looking back, the hard work and the dedication of our resilient leaders and their fields of our people. With the present generation, must also follow their footsteps to contribute something or the other towards our people. Let us all shape our future while we are in the stage to take off in the steeps, be it in the sports and games or any other fields. Today, as this edition begins, I pray that through this event, let the participants march a mile towards one step of success to bring laurels to our state in particular and for the nation in general. Lastly, I would like to state that the Department of Youth Resources and Sports, under the efficient and dynamic leadership of our Honorable Chief Minister, we are giving our best to promote sports and games in the state. Therefore, I request all the participants to outshine with good spirit to reach the unreached. Remember that our government is there to promote and support the best, and it, at the same time, we are there for those who are really dedicated and committed. During the speech, I would like to go to Bobby Knight. You don't play against your opponent. You play against the game. May God bless you all through this event. Kognali. We'll take a short break. Keep watching.
डर मत टाइगर है ना ब्लैक टाइगर सीमेंट Welcome back, moving further. Rupees 5 crore have been given to women survivors of sexual assault and other crimes in the crisis hit state of Manipur. This was informed by the Manipur government to the Supreme Court. The affidavit filed by the state government did not state the number of women compensated so far. Earlier in September, the court had ordered the state government to identify all religious buildings in the state, which would include churches, Hindu temples, Sanamahi temples, mosques, and any building of any other religion and ask that sites of these religious buildings be protected from encroachment and destruction. In response to this order, the state government's latest submission said that a short affidavit dated October 16 had already been filed indicating the steps taken by the state for identification of religious buildings in all the 16 districts. On the directions of the Supreme Court, the Manipur government notified an upgraded compensation scheme for women, victims and survivors of sexual assault and other crimes in September. The compensation for victims who have lost their lives or those who have been gang raped ranges from Rs 5 lakh to Rs 10 lakh. India will soon open a resident embassy in Lativa. Finland has also opened a consulate at Mumbai External Affairs Minister Dr. S. J. Shankar has said emphasizing on India's engagement with the Nordic Baltic countries. Speaking during the second CII India Nordic Baltic Business Conclave, Jay Shankar said India's engagement with the Nordic Baltic aid for NB8 countries has expanded clearly during the past few years. India opened its embassies in Dalin in December 2021 and in Vilnius this year in March. He said India will be opening a resident embassy in La Via very soon, the minister said. Conversely, Finland has opened a consulate in Mumbai and direct flights between India and Finland and India to Denmark are facilitating mobility between the countries, he said. According to the minister, appropriate institutional frameworks with NBH countries are also being established for closer business-to-business -business cooperation. With Finland, he said, India established sustainability partnerships digitalization and education dialogue with Denmark India's green strategic partnership is strengthening and facilitating collaborations in water solutions wind energy green hydrogen and agriculture he said India also looks forward to stronger cooperation with the Faroe Islands and with Greenland Jay Shankar said is the economic baseline on which we need to build further our engagement with the NB8 countries has expanded clearly in the last few years. Uh, we opened our embassies in Tallinn in December 2021 uh, and in Vilnius this year in March. We will be opening a resident embassy in Latvia very soon. Conversely, Finland has opened a consulate in Mumbai. Direct flights between India and Finland and to India to Denmark are facilitating mobility between our countries. Appropriate institutional frameworks with NB8 countries are also being established for closer business to business cooperation. With Finland, uh, we have established sustainability partnerships, digitalization, and education dialogue. With Denmark, our green strategic partnership is strengthening and facilitating collaborations in water solutions, wind energy, green hydrogen, and agriculture. We also look forward to stronger cooperation with the Faroe Islands. We'll take another short break. Keep watching. घर जल प्रतिरोधक सीमेंट से नहीं बना 
तो बढ़ेगा रोना पानी घुसने से कंक्रीट कमजोर हो जाए स्टार वेदर शीट सीमेंट खराब मौसम में घर वेदर प्रूफ बनाए Welcome back, moving further. The President of Tripura Congress Committee, Ashish Kumar Shah, on Wednesday criticized the ruling PJP of sheltering political activists ousted by other parties. Addressing the media during a party gathering, the Bilonia South Tripura District Saha said Congress is the sole alternative in the state and that those people, by voting for PJP's triumph in 2018, have distanced themselves. He claimed that there is not a single leader in PJP who is pure, also alleging that those in key positions are involved in extortion. Shah also stated that the region epitomizes political exploitation while internal conflict with within the ruling party frequently erupts over illicit gains in blending public developmental efforts. देखिए अभी पांच राज्यों का चुनाव चल रहा है और हमें आशा है कि आने वाले तीन तारीख में बहुत ही अच्छे रिजल्ट्स आएंगे क्योंकि लोगों ने अपना विश्वास बहुत अच्छे रिजल्ट मैंने किस फेवर में आएगा वही बता रही हूँ बहुत अच्छे रिजल्ट्स आएंगे क्योंकि लोगों ने अपना विश्वास कांग्रेस पार्टी के ऊपर करने का इस बार निर्णय लिया है और हम आशा करते हैं कि आने वाले दिनों में भी जो निर्वाचन होने वाले हैं उसमें भी कांग्रेस पार्टी उभर कर आएगी और इन पांच राज्यों के चुनाव के बाद पांच राज्य का बीजेपी का क्या हालत होगा वो आप ही देखिएगा तीन तारीख के बाद क्या होता है आपका एजेंशन क्या है एजेंशन ये है कि डेफिनेटली इस बार एंटी इनकम्बेंसी है ज्यादा से ज्यादा और इस बार जो कांग्रेस ने जो स्ट्रेटजी या फिर कांग्रेस ने जो लोगों के बीच जाने की कोशिश करी है ग्रामीण स्तर तक लोगों से जुड़ने की कोशिश करी है और फिर भारत जोड़ो यात्रा भी रही है बीच में तो लोगों के साथ वो जो जुड़ने का जो वो है कोशिश रही है वो बहुत ही अच्छा रहा है और डेफिनेटली ये कांग्रेस के तरफ ही जाएगा बिलोनिया जिला कांग्रेस उद्योग सांगठनिक सभा सभाय उपस्थित हुए सीपीआईएम बीजेपी एवं मथा विभिन्न दल थे इन दस परिवार एकषट्टी जन भोटार जोगदान करें जतियों कॉग्रेस दले जरा तो अर्पण कर तक सांगठनिक क्या संगे जुक्त करा एवं आगामी दिन ये तक सदरे समस्त बूथ स्तर थे जिला स्तर अब्दी नेतृत्व संगे सहयोगता क्या करार्जन तक आवेदन रखब अभिनंदन जाना स्वागत जाना कॉग्रेस दले कॉग्रेस दल सांगठनिक रूपरेखा यार सम्पर्के अहित हुए आगामी दिन दल के समृद्ध कर the Punjab Secretary in Kochar District of Assam was arrested on Wednesday for embezzlement of government funds based on an FIR and subsequent investigations by the CEO of Kochar Zila Parishad. R.K. Lashkar Punjab Secretary Kripa Shankar Datta was arrested. As per Zila Parishad sources, Kripa Shankar Datta during his tenure at Sonai as Panchayat Secretary embezzled funds to the tune of Rs. 22 lakh under 14 finances, various schemes and programs. At the time of his arrest, Kripa Shankar Datta was Panchayat Secretary of the Gorkal and Paikan Gao Panchayats under Qatar District of Assam.
ambulances have been stationed at the incident site. A part of the Silkiara tunnel collapsed in Uttar Kashi on November 12 and 41 workers are stranded inside the tunnel. Ambulance driver Naveen says four ambulances have been stationed so far and 35 to 36 ambulances will be here soon that have been sent from Dehradun, Haridwar and Delhi. Four hours before the rescue operations begins, all the ambulances will be lined up and a total of 40 ambulances will be here, he said. और हमारी अभी 35-36 एम्बुलेंसें और उपस्थित होने वाली हैं यहाँ पर अभी, जो कि देहरादून, हरिद्वार और टेरी से रवाना की गई है, और यहाँ पर पार्किंग व्यवस्था भी उपलब्ध नहीं है, तो सारी एम्बुलेंसों की व्यवस्था चिनाली सोड में करा दी गई है, सारी एम्बुलेंसें अभी पहले चिनाली सोड बुलाई है और जैसे यहाँ पर रेस्क्यू ऑपरेशन शुरू होगा तो यहाँ पर चार घंटे का टाइम दिया गया है चार घंटे पहले यहाँ पर सारी एम्बुलेंसें चिनाली सोट से रवाना करा दी जाएगी वो यहाँ पर उपलब्ध हो जाएगी टोटल चालीस टोटल चालीस एम्बुलेंसें सर हमारी अभी अच्छा